welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of renewing your Indian passport in Canada through the BLS. So let's get started. Go to google.com and search for BLS Canada. And click on the BLS Canada link to go to their website. Once on the BLS Canada screen, you will see that there are three separate jurisdictions serving people in different areas of Canada. Different locations served by different jurisdictions is mentioned under the title for each one, as can be seen on the screen. For example, Toronto jurisdiction serves provinces of Ontario, Manitoba, Nova Scotia, etc whereas Vancouver's jurisdiction serves the western provinces of Saskatchewan, BC, etc. Also note that the Ottawa jurisdiction serves some parts of Quebec and Ontario. So depending on your postal code, please make sure that you check whether you fall under the Ottawa jurisdiction or the Toronto jurisdiction for people living in Quebec or Ontario. For me, since I reside in the national capital region of Ottawa, I will choose Ottawa jurisdiction. Now go to the passport tab on the website and choose the option new booklet or renewal. Next click on the documents tab and download the required document checklist. Note that it's important to complete this checklist as it will be submitted along with your application. There are three types of passport renewals based on your situation with different document requirements. There is type A, which is passport renewal due to expiry or complete usage of visa pages, which is the most common type of passport renewal. There is type B, which is passport renewal due to loss or damage of the earlier passport. And third, there is type C which is the passport renewal for minors that is kids who are less than 15 years of age now let's go over the documents required for type a that is the renewal due to expiry of old pass if Hello. there is no change in your situation that is if you were single when you applied for the first passport and are still single now or there is no change of appearance for example from turban to cutting or vice versa then you will need to submit the following documents this completed checklist and then the online passport application form which is very important and we will discuss about it in detail in our next video so please subscribe to our channel we really value your support and look forward to hearing back from you in our comments then they will need your existing Indian passport, both original and complete copy of all pages. Note that they will keep your old passport during the processing period to cancel it and will only give it back to you with your new passport. So I really recommend to you that you make a photocopy of all the pages of the, your passport with visa stamps and keep it for your reference. Next you will need an extra E or the declaration of applicant on a plain paper. We will discuss about it in detail in our next video for passport application form. After that, you will need the proof of your present address both in India and in Canada. Please, please, please note that give your Indian address where you still have some family. If not family, at least you have your relatives or friends as High Commission can ask for a police verification based on their discretion and there must be someone living on the address when the police visits the address you specify on your application. If there is no one at the address that you specify and police is not able to complete your uh, verification, your passport application will be rejected. You will also need to provide a proof of your current Canadian address such as driving license, a utility or a phone bill or your health card. Then you will need to provide a proof for your status in Canada. You will need to submit photocopies of your PR card, work permit, study permit or visitor visa. I would recommend that you also take a photocopy of the COPR landing paper with you as I was asked for it at the BLS counter. 
they will also verify the original of the document that you submit for example if you submit your pr card they will ask you to show your original pr card as well for fees you can pay the fees on the counter if you are applying in person note that they only accept cash or debit card and they do not accept credit card at the counter if you are submitting a postal application then please include a demand draft or money order in favor of bls international services canada inc note that you should also include the passport fee counselor fee bls service charges and return courier fee on your demand draft next you will need two passport size photos which are 2 inch by 2 inch of yourself wearing dark clothes in front of a white background please refer to the link that i will drop in the description showing the valid and invalid photo examples at ottawa bls center they also offer the services to take the photos if submitting files via walk in for a fees of 15 dollars plus tax if you do not have any changes in your passport from the old one that is there is no change in marriage status name or address etc then these are all the documents that you will need to submit for your application however you will need additional documents based on your situation if you have any change from your old passport if there is a change in your marriage status you got married and you want to add your spouse's name on the passport you will need your marriage certificate copy or a passport copy of your husband and wife with your name on their passport if you had a divorce and you want to delete the name of your spouse from the new passport you will need a copy of your divorce certificate if you want to change your name on the new passport then you will need two government issued ids with your new name like aadhar card pan card voter id card driver license etc and you will need two newspaper advertisements in two recognized newspapers note that the advertisements must be in english one in the area of your address in india and one in the area of your address in canada and they will need full pages of original advertisement and no photocopies or cuttings are accepted here is the suggested format for the advertisement if you have a change in your parents name then you will need two photocopies of your parents passport or any of their government issued id if you have a change in appearance for example you started wearing turban or you had a haircut then you will need to submit a government issued affidavit for change in appearance and if you have an address change then you will need to submit a new address proof for type b renewal that is the passport renewal in case of a lost or damaged passport you will need to submit all the documents that we discussed for type a and in addition you will need to submit an extra f second letter of explanation describing how you lost the passport and third you will need to submit the original fir report which must include your old passport number for type c renewal that is passport renewal for minors you will need to submit all the documents that we discussed for regular passport renewal that is type a renewal in addition you will need to submit passport copies of both the minor's parents an extra d or no objection certificate from both the parents in addition to these two documents if unfortunately one of the parents had died then you will need to submit their death certificate while if the parents have divorced and the minor is under single custody then you must submit divorce certificate and the custody order from the court in a case where both the parents are outside canada then the parents are required to provide the notarized annexure d or the noc certificate and may also nominate a guardian or their representative for submitting the passport application of their minor child in canada on the noc itself once you have collected all the documents we discussed based on your situation please complete the checklist by putting in your initials under the column to be verified by applicant only put initials for the documents that you will be submitting and leave the rest blank if you are submitting your application by walk in like me 
I would suggest that you book an online appointment on the BLS Canada website as it will help you avoid wait. They will ask you to choose if you would like to pick up your new passport at the BLS center or if you would prefer them to courier it to you. If you choose to have it couriered, they will charge you the courier fee. After the verification process for the documents and the payment of fees, you will receive a receipt and an application reference number. Keep these safe as you will need them to track the progress of your passport renewal. You can track your application on the BLS website under the Track Your Application tab using the application reference number received when filling in the application form. The average processing times for normal applications is 8 weeks. For your reference and current processing times, I will drop the link to an online tracker showing processing times for other applicants in the description. So this was the overview of the step-by-step -step procedure for Indian passport renewal in Canada. We will do a step-by-step -step guide on how to fill the application form and an extra E in our next video. So do refer to that when filling out your passport application. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment or you can reach out to us at simplevisahub at gmail.com. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you next time.